instruments every time you open up a key with the exception of this open standing key here every time you open up a key it shortens the length of the instrument and um, so we're dealing with uh, the same phenomena as a recorder or a flute where you're actually bringing the uh, length of the sound column shorter and shorter as you open up, up more keys this is exactly opposite of what happens on your modern trumpet playing where when you depress a valve you're extending the tubing and it creates a quite a different feeling. It's a little disconcerting when you first start playing the keyed bugle um, or the cornetto for uh, uh, also as a part of this uh, part of this phenomenon. So I took my keyed bugles when I first started playing them. This was in the mid 1970s. I studied with a very fine um, trumpet teacher in Los Angeles. His name was John Kleiman. Climate had been in the studios in uh, Los Angeles and for uh, a long period from 1948 to 1968 he was principal trumpet in uh, the Los Angeles Philharmonic as well. And he was a very wise man. And I, put, I took out these key bugles for him and showed him uh, what I was practicing and what I was, what I was trying to do with the instruments and he said something that I will never forget. He said, Ralph, with these instruments you have to make your own resonance and for the last 30 years or so, I've been thinking about that very comment. That comment stuck with me, making your own resonance. And uh, this is uh, something that we deal with whether we're playing a keyed bugle or a, a natural trumpet or a cornetto or, a, 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 or our modern instruments. Making our own resonance, finding our own voice is, uh, is, is the name of the game. And one of the techniques among many that we talked about in John's studio was the idea of slurring passages, uh, maintaining the same breath marks that you would normally see in the printed music, and then slurring them for the entire length of the, um, of the phrase, uh, taking the breath at the same point. But if you had a repeated note, for example, of the same pitch, you would simply tie that. Um, and John asked me to play, the, uh, play these passages, every passage that I was practicing, three times slurred for every time that I played it with the printed articulation. And it um, was such a, uh, a help in my own playing. It got my air moving. It uh, got me listening to my sound in a different way. And of course, when you do this, you're only listening to your sound and uh, dealing with the fingers. So it was perfect for learning the key bugle. Uh, grappling with all of these crazy, uh, crazy keys, and uh, it limits uh, the amount of things you need to focus on. So let me play you a little uh, passage from a Saxa concertino. Some of you may know this as an E-flat cornet piece, but it works great on key bugle. And uh, just play uh, something that's meant to be lyrical. I'll play it first as a slur exercise, and then uh, then I'll then I'll put it with the uh, proper articulation. That's as the exercise. I would do that three times for every time I um, uh, played it with the uh, appropriate articulation once. Let's skip those other three times because I'm only in a short video here and uh, play the final product.